This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora and welcome to Scholars of the South Tigris in about 3 minutes. Prototype copy used. It has a solo mode. It's a game for 1-4 to four players, playing time is long, and it's a pretty complex game. You are working for the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. Your objective? Track down the most exotic scrolls, hire translators, and put them to work creating the world's greatest repository of knowledge. The game ends the round after the last Caliph card is drawn and scored. The winner is the player with the most points, and you get these from lots of places, just look for the gold flags. Dice. There are multiple dice in many different colors for you to manage. Action selection. Each turn you will use cards, dice, and workers to select an action to take. Set collection. A lot of points come from collecting sets on scroll cards. Player turn. You have a bag full of dice and will draw four to start the game. Each turn you will use one card combined with dice to take the action shown below it. Many actions require both certain values and the dice to be specific colors. White workers can be used to make a white die a six. A colored worker can be used to change a die to its color. Two workers can be used on two dice to make a secondary color. If a colored die is placed in a set, it changes that set. Two primary colored dice combine to a secondary color, and secondary dice are always their own color. Now we understand how dice and colors work, let's look at the actions. First is to hire a translator. This needs any colored die as shown below the translator. 5 plus here. We can dismiss the translator to gain 1 gold or recruit them. We find an empty space in the translation hall and pay the cost in the top left and get the benefit in the top right. We then mark the translator to show we control them. Next is travel and we can move clockwise up to our dice value. If we stop on a white circle we claim the reward shown. If we stop on a black circle we claim the skull to translate. This costs 4 coins but we gain the benefit shown in the location we place it. And because our action here was blue and we pass through this blue section we can mark the scroll with influence. If a caliph card is revealed, when replacing the translation card you score it. Starting at the purple tower and moving right, the player with the most influence in each area claims a reward. Anytime you interact with a card with a research symbol on it, advance the matching track one step. Gaining rewards shown in clear spaces, solid spaces are income you gain during rest actions. You can also take the research action. Check your dice color and value here. Our action is a blue 9 so we gain 2 coins and advance on the blue track. The final action is to translate, and you need to match dice color to the tower, so here that is purple. We need to translate from Persian to Arabic. The only two translators we currently have are here, so we need to go from Persian to Syriac and then to Arabic, paying one gold to each translator. As the amount of gold on the right translator matches the amount in their location, we retire them. Their controller may place some under action cards, gaining the printed benefits each time they take that action. Finally, you can rest to recover cards and dice, each card in your board will give you an income, much of which is based on the position on the tech trees. So here we will draw 5 dice instead of 4. Why would you like this game? Scholars is one of the most intricate games I have played, and while it fundamentally boils down to choosing one of 4 actions to do each round, the game is wide open. Everything is scarce and decisions around what tech tracks to advance and when to rest and claim resources are huge. So it's a game where every decision matters and not being able to take the actions you want will frustrate you. It's an optimizer's dream game. There's also some clever stuff in here, like how each translator is unique, but the 8 stacks ensure all language options are available. And this randomly assigned achievement list that gives you workers and dice when you complete milestones and then becomes a new action slot. The best thing about this game is, even though there's a ton to do, the game is essentially picking one of four actions. However, do you like icons? Well, you're better if you're going to get to grips with scholars, as there's a bunch of them, even more so than most Garfield games. And if you get lost and fall behind, there's very little ways to catch up. The technology track here reminds me a lot of Guy Project, another optimizer's dream game. And for another great game by the same designers, try Paladins of the West Kingdom. Scholars of the South Tigris. How pretty is that board? Gold medal game. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.